three persons A, B and C can do a work in 24 days, 30 days and 18 days respectively. They are assigned to do the work but B works on only even days and C on odd days. If A worked only for 10 days then in how many uh, days the total work will be completed, right? In how many days the total work will be completed, right? So let's see what can be done here. So basically three persons, the capacities are known to us, right? A's capacity is 1 by 24, B's capacity is uh, 1 by 30 and C's capacity is 1 by 18, right? The amount of work that they can do per day. Now what happens here if you look at the day's uh, pattern, D1, D2 and so on, D2, D3, D4 and so on up to D9, D10 and then D11, D12, D13 and so on it continues. Now on the first day who would work? See A continues to work only for 10 days. He says A worked only for 10 days and A does not have any problem right. A works on all the days but only for the first 10 days. So every day A works A up to the 10 days up to the first 10 days right A works. From the 11th day onwards A will not be in the picture. Now what is the problem with B and C or what is the condition for B and C? B works only on even days and C works only on odd days. Right? So C will work on odd days, so first day, third day, fifth day and so on, C works. So A and C will work on first day, A and C will work on third day, on fifth day, on seventh day, on ninth day and so on. Eleventh day only C works, thirteenth day also only C works. All the even days B would work. So second day A and B would work, fourth day A and B would work, tenth day A and B would work, in between sixth day and eighth day also A and B will work, twelfth day B alone works, fourteenth day again B alone works and so on. So this is how they are going to work. Right? Now if you observe what happens in the first 10 days, how much of work has gotten over in 10 days? A has worked for 10 days, A has worked for 10 days, all the 10 days, B worked only for 5 days, B and C have worked for 5 days each, yes or no? B and C work for 5 days each because B worked on 2nd, 4th, 6th, 8th, 10th day, C worked on 1st, 3rd, 5th, 7th and 9th day. 5 days each. So let us find out how much of work has been completed. How much work will get over? A's capacity is 1 by 24. So in 10 days, 10 by 24. Yes or no? B's capacity is 1 by 30 per day 1 by 30. So in 5 days 5 by 30. C's capacity is 1 by 18 per day. So in 5 days 5 by 18. So simplify this. Total work that got over 24, 30 and 18. What's the LCM? Uh, 360, 360 works. 360 let's say. Yeah. So 24 goes how many times? 15 times 15 into 10 is 150. 30 goes 12 times, so 12 into 5 is 60 and 18 goes 20 times, 25 is 100, yeah. So this is the work done, 150 plus 60, 210 plus 100, 310, 310 by 36, uh, 310 by 360, 31 by 36 is done, 31 by 36 is done, implies what is the remaining work, see total work is always one unit, right, total work should always be taken as one unit, all three of them together are going to do one unit, out of one unit, 31 by 36 is done in 10 days. In the first 10 days, right? This is first 10 days. Understand. See, you don't have to write all these steps in the exam. I'm, I'm just trying to explain in detail, right? So it's taking so much of time. First 10 days, this is what happens. This is what happens, right? Now, what is the remaining work? 31 by 36 done. Implies remaining is 5 by 36. Total is 36 by 36. So 1. Total is always 1. So out of 1, 31 by 36 done. So 1 minus 31 by 36. Implies 5 by 36 is remaining. Now, this has to be done. This has to be done. Understand what happens on 11th day, not 10 days they have done 31 by 36. Who comes on 11th day? C comes. C can do 1 by 18 on 11th day. Right? C can do 1 by 18. B on the other hand on 12th day will do 1 by 30. Again C on 13th day will do 1 by 18 and so on. Now what we have to understand is in how many more days will they finish this 5 by 36. See if we try to observe, uh, I mean you can, you can actually take 5 by 36 minus 1 by 18 minus 1 by 30 and so on but otherwise Maybe also find out. Now what happens is the pattern changes. Every two days they will do this much of work. 1 by 18 plus 1 by 30. Again on 13 day and 14 day they will do 1 by 18 plus 1 by 30 and so on. So what is 1 by 18 plus 1 by 30? Next two days. Understand. Next two days. What happens in the next two days? What happens in the next two days? First C will work 1 by 18. Then B will work 1 by 30. How much is finished? What is LCM? Uh, 90 is LCM. So 5 plus 3. Yes or no? 5 plus 3, 8 by 90 or 4 by 45. So they can finish 4 by 45. So the point is in the next two days, 4 by 45 has been finished. 4 by 45 obviously is less than 5 by 36. So they have finished some component. Now what is remaining? What is remaining now? 
what is remaining now understand what is remaining now see remaining was 5 by 36 from which 4 by 45 has been done so 5 by 36 minus 4 by 45 simplify 180 can be taken as LCM so that is it goes 5 times 5 5 is 25 45 goes 4 times 4 4, four 16 so 9 by 180 or 1 by 20 I mean it looks to be lengthy because I am like giving a detailed explanation you just have to play with numbers in the exam so what happens is in the next two days they were able to finish 4 by 45 which means remaining was from 5 by 36 4 by 45 is done now remaining is 1 by 20 now the remaining 1 by 20 should be done by whom on 13th day we have we have already found how much was work was done in 10 days then we have found how much of that was done in 12 days uh, 11th and 12th day together now on the 13th day who comes on 13th day C C's capacity is to finish 1 by 18 in one day 1 by 20 is less than 1 by 18 right so obviously the work will be done in 12 point some days you are able to follow C can do 1 by 18 in one day the work will not cross 13th day remember the work now will not cross 13th day already 10 days are over in 10 days they have done 31 by 36 in 11th and 12th day they have done 4 by 45 so 31 by 36 plus 4 by 45 is equal to 19 by 20 what is left out is 1 by 20 this 1 by 20 will be finished by C on the 13th day and that too not the full 13th day only some part of 13th day because C can actually do 1 by 18 remember 1 by 18 is more than 1 by 20 so C can do more C will take some lesser time to finish 1 by 20 so answer should be 12 point something right required answer should be 12 point change Look at the options. Option A, 16 days cannot be the answer. Option B, 12, 9 by 10, possible. Option C, 14 days. Option D, 13 days. Option E, 15 days. All are ruled out. Because, like I said, the work will not cross the 14th day. On 13th day itself, we will get over. Now, since there is only one option which is with 12 point something, we can mark that as the answer. We can take uh, we, can, we can take B as the answer. Right? We can take B as the answer. If there are more than one option with 12 point something, we will have to do the last step also. What is the last step? The last step is as follows. See, we know that C can do 1 by 18. We are talking about C's capacity now, right? Who will come on 13th day? This is 13th day. We are trying to find out 13th day. How much of 13th day is required? C can do 1 by 18 in one day. In one day, 1 by 18 can be done. So, in how many days will C do 1 by 20? 1 by 20 is to be done. Done by whom? By C. On which day? 13th day. So, C can do 1 by 18 in one day. 1 by 20, how much time will it take? So what will be question mark? Question mark will be equal to 18 by 20. I mean when you cross multiply. 18 by 20. 18 by 20 is 9 by 10. So basically we need only 9 tenth of the 13th day. So 12 days plus 9, 9 10. So if I have to highlight all the numbers here which have to be added, you will, you will get the exact answer. right? What is the exact answer? Uh, these 10 days, first 10 days we have finished whatever uh, 31 by 36. right? Next 2 days we have finished 4 by 45 and in the 9 tenth of the day we have finished the remaining work so answer is 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 9 by 10 12 9 by 10 option b all right and i'll, I'll also highlight what all you should avoid in the exam right what should be cut down in the exam because all these steps are not required right so all this i am writing on paper right this this part is not required you know it is 1 by 24 1 by 30 1 by 18 yeah don't write all this this is only for the sake of explanation you should be able to visualize this you know that picture should be clear in your mind you don't have to put pen on paper for this all this what you see in red is to be avoided in the exam just play with these numbers whatever calculations we have done here right only these numbers you have to play with and like i said if you if you do it smartly you don't have to complete the last step you know before that itself you will know option b is the answer because only one option is in the range of 12 and 13 right other options are all out of the range right very clearly answer should be between 12 and 13